Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a um, video of my favorite lipsticks. So, oh, and lip glosses. So stay tuned and <laughs> you can find out which one are my favorites. And I apologize for looking very scrumpy today. I just decided to make this video and I don't really have time to do my makeup. So we're going to start off with my favorite. Um, it's from Rimmel London. I don't know if you guys can see. I apologize that my nails look really, really bad. Um, I'm just going to get them refilled um, sometime this week. So, anyway, it is 006 by Rimmel London Pink Blush. And it is the most perfect pink. Um, it is just beautiful and uh, very perfect. And I will swatch that. It's such a pretty, it's such a pretty color. Oh, I'm sorry. It's right here. Such a pretty color. Um, it's very pretty. The next one is also by Rimmel London. I have a lot of Rimmel London ones. They're my absolute favorite. Um, and I really, I, I do, I have like the whole collection, but they're my favorite. So, um, is Airy Fairy. Uh, everybody went crazy um, over this um, this one, and I do really, really love it. Um, it's a very dusty pink. Um, it's not really like pink pink, but it is really, really pretty. And um, sorry, it's right. And it's just a really pretty dusty color. The next one's my ooh, the next one's by Rimmel London. And um, it is 640 Summer Angel. I don't know if you guys can actually see the name or anything. Um, I am in the kitchen. I'm using my um, webcam instead of uh, the HD. And you can't really see this one that much. Um, it's more of a nude, nude color. It's right there. But it's really pretty on, and it really, you can really see it well. The next one is also by Rimmel London, but it's in the, um, it's fine, it's in the, uh, Kate Moss collection. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's in the Kate Moss collection. And it is 14, it doesn't have a color, it's just 14. And it is a very pretty browny uh, nude color. Um, it's very, uh, it's almost like a mauve, uh, like a mauvey brown. And it smells really good too, which is always really good. It smells nice. This is what it looks like. I'm, I'm really into the pinky brown colors and the pinks, or just the browns. And that is the Kate Moss 14. Next is a totally different brand. It is L'Oreal in Ravishing Red. I don't know if it's just not picking it up. Um, this is actually um, a really pretty red, and it stays on forever too, which I do love. That it's it's a very matte color. Um, the other ones are more of a satin finish. This was a very matte color. Um, it's really pretty, and it's just amazing. Up uh, up for years, um, literally since like 2010, I've been trying to find the perfect red, uh, the perfect red, and I finally found it. And here it is. There, it looks more pink on my hand, but on my lips, it is a true, true, true red. And um, it's that right here, and it's so pretty. The next one is uh, by Wet n Wild. Um, these are all drugstore lipsticks. I, I haven't really ventured off into the um, professional lipsticks that are like $14, but um, this is in the color Dollhouse Pink. And it is perfect for summer. Um, it is so crazy, very matte, no satin finish whatsoever. And here is it right here. And it's such a cute, cute, true, sorry, a true pink. Um, it's such a pretty color. 
Oops. That's right there. And last but not least, I watch uh, Shades of Cassie. And she's a YouTuber on here. Um, so please go subscribe to her because she is a great um, channel. She has a great channel. And uh, she was talking about the Revlon Nut Butters. And I happen to have some, uh, have about six or seven Revlon Nut Butters. Um, and she just so happened to have this one. And after seeing it, I had to go get it because it was absolutely beautiful. And um, I really did like it. And it is in the shade Red Velvet. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is unlike me to purchase something so dark and so, like, pretty. I don't know. But, um, I did. And it's a very silky smooth lip balm. And it's so dark, but it is so pretty. And I would never, ever get something like this. But she convinced me to. And here it is right here. It is so pretty. And this is in the color Red Velvet by Revlon Lip Butters. So here are my lipsticks, my favorite lipsticks here. And now to my four favorite lip glosses. The first is Skinny Girl Plumping Lip Gloss. And you can get this at a drugstore or um, anywhere near you, really. Like any drugstore or something. Um, you can get it at. And it's in the shade um, Peach, I think. It doesn't say on the thing. Um, but I'm going to put some on my hand. It's just a very like clear gloss with a little bit of nudie. Um, here it is here. I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys can see it right here. It's right there. It's just very nude, very sheer. Um, not much going on with it. I just got makeup all over my hand. Um, but yeah, it's very nude, very pretty. The next one is by Hard Candy, and it is in the shade of Girl Next Door. I don't know if you guys can see. It is storming outside, so I apologize if the lighting is really bad. Um, and it's nighttime as well. So. Girl Next Door is the prettiest sheer baby light pink. Um, here it is right here. And it is just so pretty. It's just so pretty. And the next two are from Rimmel London. Um, and this is in the shade of Pink Benefit. And it's also a very true pink, uh, kind of baby pink, but it's really pretty. I'll try to swatch that. It does look a lot like hard candy, but, um, it's more pink than hard candy. Here it is here. That's Pink Benefit by Rumble London. Sorry, right here. And the next one is Fuchsia Therapy, um, by Rumble London as well. And, and they both have SPF 15 in them, and it blocks, um, the sun from your lips and they have collagen and vitamins A, C, and E. So they're very, very, um, they're very good for you. And this one's in Fuchsia Therapy. It's such a true pink. Thank you for watching, and, um, hopefully you like this video, and I will make more soon. Thank you.